Hey guys, what is up and I welcome you to a new episode of League of Myths. Please do not forget to throw in a like if you do end up enjoying this episode on top of staying till the very end for another sweet Phoenix giveaway. But let us not stall any longer and go to the first myth submitted by Bob Smith. Will Exhaust reduce Zed's ultimate damage, the death mark, after he places it versus prior to? This is somewhat of an interesting one because it really determines how the death mark skill works. Does Exhaust affect the mark as it's placed or as it activates? So just for testing purposes, we do one without exhaust to see the exact damage and it does 71 damage to the Hecarim. Now in this scenario, just as the Hecarim puts his exhaust onto myself, I throw the ultimate right onto him applying the death mark while exhausted, but as it explodes, you can see that it still does the full damage. And now for the next test case scenario, just as I ulti the Hecarim, he walks to the side to make sure I don't automatically auto attack him. Just before the mark explodes, he throws the exhaust off and you can see that it does do reduced damage. Which we can definitely conclude that the exhaust only affects Zed's ultimate's damage as it explodes versus when he applies it. The next miss submitted by Christian. Can you silence or stun Kha'Zix while he is evolving an ability and cancel the channel, making him have to do it again? So I don't know about you guys in your games, but I've never seen a Kha'Zix evolve an ability in front of someone that is able to stun or silence. So naturally, thinking that him evolving is considered a channel, I thought the stun and silence will stop it. But judging from what we see in this video, you can see that as I was evolving my Q, Pantheon stunned and it completely ignored the channel. And the exact same thing happens with Silence, you simply cannot stop him from evolving it. Which is somewhat interesting because the bar that keeps filling up as you are evolving an ability does suggest that it is a channel ability. So with all that being said and done, I became very curious as to what happens if I'm evolving an ability and I die midway. So I went ahead and tested that and just as I was about halfway done evolving my Q, the Laser killed me and as I revive you can see the evolution still took place and my Q is fully evolved even though the channel never finished. And as we make our way to the next myth submitted by Jooba, if Syndra uses her Q, teleports across the map and uses her ultimate, does the first Q that she placed on the other side of the map still count towards that ultimate's damage? So for this myth, I decided to have three test case scenarios. The first one is testing if I use the Q away from the target I'm gonna use my ultimate on, but not super far away. And you can see from that range, it's more than enough for the ball to come right to Syndra just as I ultimate the Jax. In the second scenario, I make the range a bit longer. This time I throw the Q into the bush right underneath the red buff, flash over into Dragon Spit, throw the ultimate onto the Jax, and you can see the ball flew all the way from that area right on top of Jax. But now for the final test case scenario, this one testing across the map. As I use my Q in the mid lane, I teleport down to the bottom lane, put my ultimate onto the Jax, but you can see that this is just way too far and that Q does not react to the ultimate. So it will work up to a certain range. And the final myth for this episode submitted by Dennis. This is a myth that so many people just keep on asking, so I finally decided to do it. Does Runance or Hydra work on Thresh, since his auto attack is somewhat unique? So one of the reasons why this myth is so popular and always asked is the fact that Thresh's auto attack will go through Yasuo's wall. But the reason that it goes through his wall is because his attack is not a projectile but it is still ranged. So with that in mind, let's test it with first Tiamat. As you can see my friend did not get it on his Thresh and as he walks up to auto attack the minions, the Tiamat AoE effect is not working whatsoever and on top of this he cannot even activate the item. Next, I finally finished my Runan's Hurricane, and this time as I'm auto attacking the minions, you can see that the ball is shooting out the two projectiles like it should. And finally, just for testing purposes, we decided to do this as well with Hydra. As my friend finished the team at into the Hydra, he's auto attacking the minions and once again, nothing is happening nor can he activate the item. So to answer this myth once and for all, only Runan's works. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, please throw in a like if you did and also submit your own myth to be featured in the next episode. You can either submit it down below under this video, tweet at me at redmercylol or on my Facebook fan page, also redmercylol. But on to the giveaway. First a big congratulations to at Megaboy1324 for winning last week's episode. This episode I will be giving away the Phoenix Nasita and their mouse the Demora. I honestly think their mouse is probably the best product that they have so I'm very excited to be able to give you guys one of these. It truly is pretty sweet. And in order to win this one, all you have to do is like this video, follow myself and Phoenix on Twitter, and simply tweet at myself and Phoenix saying why you want to win. Make sure to include the hashtag PhoenixRedMercy. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Good luck to everyone entering, and I'll see you next time. Peace.